I have decided to comb out my dreadlocks in 2022. What? What, you didn't know? No. Why? Getting rid of these dreadlocks. It's time, babes. You gonna comb them all out? You're gonna have no hair. I'm gonna be yes. a whole different person. You used to not have dreads before. Before you met me? With your fro. I loved it. But I'm gonna be bald headed. You're not gonna be bald headed. I am gonna be bald headed. Let go of me. Before we get into it, I have to show you the reason why I decided to do this. I was a freshman out of high school, 19 years old, with a big dream, man. Not that one, not that one. I wanted to go to college because that was the biggest dream I've had. A college life experience, you know, partying and all that. So I ran away from home because I hated school. But guess where I was at? In a small town called Olathe in Kansas. When I realized that college is not for me and the party life and all that stuff they hype up when the movies is not for me, I decided to move out of Kansas, man. I hated that place. I, I don't know, if you're from Kansas, man, move out of there. So I moved from Kansas to Arizona in a heartbeat. My brother was out here. I was excited to come out here. I went from 30 degrees below. <laughs> To 130 degrees above burning like hell out here 117 degrees when i moved out here the first day i almost moved back arizona is the hottest place in the world moving to arizona was not the biggest thing that i've done at that time it was actually growing out my hair growing out my hair to get dreadlocks and thus i ended up being on the video of gunther the gray where everybody in the comments loved uh not really loved but roasted the back of my neck because i looked like a homeless person that lived in the house so we shot a video called how to get dreadlocks with homeless folks. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the back. And just from personal experience, what I've noticed is that the back work easier. As a homeless person, my goal became one thing, and that is to find more homeless people to be homeless with. So I started a channel called Why Not Be Homeless. What's up, this is Diddy with the new channel. This is my first upload, as you can see. Uh, shout out to my man, my brother, Nate, and my dude, Gunther, for helping out with a lot of things, you know? They the main reason that I'm starting this channel. I'm about to surprise y'all with a lot of funny stuff. That channel didn't really work out, so I had to shut it down. After that, I had this great bright idea. I wanted to become not homeless. So I called myself Activerse. Activerse represents a lot. If you guys don't know what Activerse is, I wanna let you know right now. I... Because it's the reason you were watching this channel today. Activerse became me. Who's me? I'm you. I'm you, you, me, me, you, you, me. Yes, I am you. Yeah, that was me. So, Activerse was born. Yeah, that's how it started. Activerse meant acting the verse, scriptures, from the Bible, from the word of God. Acting them out. Everything that the Bible teaches is really good for your life. And I knew if I can act the verse, I can change my life around. That's why I went from homeless to 35,000 subscribers to where I'm at today, being so grateful that I'm not homeless anymore. Here comes the sad part where I have to let you know why I'm actually combing out my dreadlocks. Without you guys, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. My dread journey has been a most amazing journey. I wanna say thank you for that. Three years of you know growth, so many hair dyes, and still being able to make it through that when a lot of people said that my hair is gonna fall out. But yeah, I'm combing out my hair. How ironic. Most of my motivation for some reason came from people that doubted me. And that isn't just in life. And I don't know if that is like some kind of ego, but people that really doubt me motivate me the most. I said it on the last video too. It's like, it's crazy how this guy just came out of nowhere. He just hating on me, telling me to go back to my country. My wife is cheating on me. Just give me a fuel to do that video. And not also that video, but to hit my mark, my goal that I have this year, which is 100K. So for this journey that I'm taking now to comb it on my hair, it's going to be like a daily thing to where I comb out one hair a day. And uh, if you guys are interested in that, make sure you guys are subscribed because it's going to blow up. I know that for sure. And uh, I'll be able to shove it in his face. And everybody that doubted me that I won't be able to make it or whatever it is. Even though to, to the haters that I had with my dreadlocks, like my hair's gonna fall out, whatever. Not the ones that are really concerned, but you know what I'm talking about, the ones that just hate. Just so they find something bad about you and they talk the most about your fall. 
Like, they only criticize when you do wrong. But when you do good, they don't comment at all. Y'all motivate me, so shout out to you. And that's why you were plugged in on this video. But for those of you guys that really supported me, it is because of you also that I'm here. The motivation might came from elsewhere, but it is because of you that I, every day I see it, somebody commenting, somebody liking my video, somebody subscribing, it just makes me feel like I'm doing something right. I'm impacting somebody, influencing somebody. And I've gotten so many DMs over people that said, bro, you motivate me, you inspire me. Last year, of course, I've quit my Uber job just to take YouTube seriously and my businesses also. And I've started to treat this as a business, meaning that I have to make an effort like my business so that it can provide for my family. But recently I've noticed something. I I have been wanting to you know get the views that i was uploading a lot more than i should versus taking the time like this video and really thinking through what i want to upload and what i should bring out even though i treat it as a business the views is just a corresponding action to the energy that i'm bringing you know like if i'm bringing effort uh genuineness fullness of my heart people will show love and that's what i noticed so sorry for bombarding you guys with a lot of content last year because uh, that's literally what i was just thinking about i gotta give views so that i got i got to make this money but that's not how I'm training now. I know this pace right here got slowing down from the beginning and it's because I wanted to just have a hard, hard talk. And it's just like saying goodbye to this hair, man. Whatever dreadlocks that I have, you guys will be seeing every day me combing out dreadlocks. Uh, but before I go, I wanna say that I'm not saying bye to dreadlocks completely. I am gonna have a second set of locks coming soon. That's why I've been growing the back of my hair and I wanted to show you right now. Hi guys, my new sets of the dreadlocks is gonna be mohawk locks. For those of you guys that don't know, mohawk is gonna come back, especially that I'm doing it now. It's gonna be the new wave of like look. Even if it is not dreadlock, we're gonna start rocking mohawk. I'm telling you, it's gonna rotate just like how it was like 2015, 2014. I've been growing my hair for four to five months. Let's test out if this is actually five inches because I've been growing an inch a month thus far. All right, moment of truth. Almost five inches. I'm at four and a half actually. Four and a half is not that bad. We still have a few days to go to hit five months. And so this is the journey that I've been taking into. It's been a heck of a journey. It's not easy to have a hair sticking out your head while you have actual draw locks. It is the toughest decision I've done in my whole entire journey of draw locks to grow an undercut. I know for the, some of you guys that have done this, this is tough. Put it in a bun, <laughs> you can just see it <laughs> sticking out, already locking up and everything like that. And uh, yeah, this is what it looks like in the back. It's the hardest thing I've done. Now following up with the second hardest thing that I'm gonna do with my draw lock is gonna be combing out each and every one of my draw locks. Right now I have about, count them, 47 draw locks. When I started this journey, I had 53 or 54. Now I have 47, meaning that I lost some. No, not actually lost some, but I actually combined a lot of them. There's two extension in here, which minus those two, which I don't have to comb out, thank God, because extensions are super hard to comb because it's just so neatly tight. I have 47 minus two, 45 draw locks to comb out. So 45 days of combing out every single day. I'm gonna be getting up early in the morning, combing out one dread. And I'm also gonna time it how long it's gonna take me so that I know this whole process, how long, how many hours I'm gonna put, everything like that. This is just beyond my imagination. Man, hi. <sighs> day one combing my hair. Let's get into it right now. <laughs> 